who taught you to hate being like The greatest misconception about Uncle Malcolm was that he was a, a thug and a criminal and a hustler and a, and, a, and, a, and a drag of society that needed some reinvention. Uncle Malcolm was constantly changing from his, uh, from his adolescence to his death. He was constantly changing. He was constantly revising his thought and making it very clear and plain of who he was. My name is Arjun Collins. I'm the curator of the Malcolm X Ella Collins House here, and uh, I'm the grandnephew of Malcolm X. People think of uh, Malcolm, obviously, a lot of time as uh, Detroit Red, which was a misnomer because he wasn't from Detroit at all. They also think about him as Harlem, uh, a Harlemite. But his home, where he spent his formative years, was here in Boston. He describes it as being a place that kind of enthralled him because he was from the Midwest, because it was a site of learning. Okay? It was a side of family, and a family that was extremely strong, an extremely spiritual, psychologically sound black family in the United States of America. Right? And, and, and that, to have that is what uh, really, I believe, drove Uncle Malcolm to say that Boston was uh, one of the most profound aspects of his, of his youth. Boston was a time in his life that was much more cumulative, cumulative from his early childhood till his adulthood, constantly bringing knowledge, family, ideas, nature. You see the 10-acre park next door, Malcolm X Park. That was a place where Uncle Malcolm and his sister spent a lot of time just involved in uh, examining the, the local flora and fauna. He spent plenty of time out in coastal Massachusetts, in the woods of Duxbury, along the coast in Plymouth. Uncle Malcolm said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Uh, the rock was landed on us. He, he, he went and looked at that rock himself. We're, uh, Starting a capital campaign, fundraising campaign for the rehabilitation and the restoration of the Malcolm X Ella Collins House. The house is going to serve as a place of education based on the legacy of Malcolm X and where he was able to be educated himself, how he was able to be educated, where that education came from, and it's largely rooted in black consciousness. That's what Uncle Malcolm's chapter in Boston represents. It represents a journey that took place over many, many years, but it's all right here. It remains with the family. It remains with Uncle Malcolm's acolytes and uh, mentees who are still alive today. Uh, that's where you, that's, you'd find that all here. A lot of it here in Boston and greater Massachusetts. People will buy this idea of a Detroit red hustler, okay? Of a New York guy. People will buy that, but are people willing to not buy, but to examine uh, the life of a philosopher? Are you willing to examine the life of a poet, of a martyr, okay? Uh, are you willing to examine the life of a family man, right? If you take time to understand that, you'll find the revolutionary martyr. You'll find a man who was so passionate about his, about his freedom and our freedom.